Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, boy Yahweh Shai, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Striving for the hopeful leg, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakodash, Rakatam Akim, Wa Akwathim. I'm coming back with another video. Just want to make it real quick. Just want to go into James chapter 1, verse 21. It says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Okay, so this is, you know, self explanatory. To those that believe and those that have an ear, let them hear. Okay, and the true worshipers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are going to come and they're going to worship him in truth and in spirit. And they're going to take heed to this scripture because it's true. All right. Not everybody has the, the, the gift of faith, nor were they blessed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, be, to, to be able to hear and understand and to see these things. But the, the men on the highways and the byways that are preaching this, the prophesying and preaching this word to you, they're letting you know what it is. Okay? And it all boils down to faith. And the scripture is telling this is what this is all you need. Okay? It says, put away all. You know, wickedness, put away the world, put away all your cares of this life, your worries. You know, just leave it, leave it right there. Leave it, leave it where the Lord is and he'll take care of it. Okay. And it says, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. So the Lord is telling you through the spirit that this word is able to save you and deliver you, to comfort you. All right. Bring you to ultimate, you know, eternal salvation. All right, and this is a beautiful scripture because it it tells you what is able to save you. The word, which is the name of who Yahweh 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 Shai. All right, the spirit of prophecy. So let me go into a couple of words here. The first one I want to go into is able, because the scripture said, which is able to save your soul. So that sounds like. That's a, that's a, um, they're saying it with confidence. It's written with confidence. So right here, the Greek, it's, um, play, it almost looks like a word dynamic. Strong's G, 1410, dunamai. So the outline of biblical usage, just says to, to be able, have power, whether by virtue of one's own ability and resources. Or of a state of mind or through favorable circumstances or by permission of law or custom to be able to do something to be capable strong and powerful All right not everybody's capable of, of performing the the, the 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 righteous acts the scriptures the role of an elect not everybody has that ability so they're not able they're crippled they're blind they're maimed they're deaf they're stubborn, hard-headed. Basically, they're dead. Okay? It says to be capable, strong, and powerful. Or have power, whether by virtue of one's own ability and resources. But we all know, ultimately, we depend on the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. He's the one that brings animation into you. He's the one that breathes that breath of life, that, that cool air, that breeze. Gives you that oxygen. Okay, that that instills into you the will of of his father. Okay, it says to be able to do something. Right. So here down here, the Strong's definition, it says to be able or possible. Right. It's possible that this word is able is is it can save your soul, it can save you. Right. And that's that's a, a, a word of confidence, a sure word of prophecy. There's nothing else in this world that we we should desire, or should, we should want, or put our hopes in, because everything else is temporal. It's temporary. This word is in, is, a, is an in, an everlasting word, man. This word has has survived through thousands and thousands of years of of war and destruction. 
to where Esau and all the other nations try to whitewash or you know the uh, to, to to destroy the scriptures to destroy the nation of Israel not knowing who, who you are as a people and telling you you are these types of people or or whatever or you're not even a human being or whatever it is out that they have out there that try to make Jake believe in what that's not true okay so from there let me go real quick because it said possible let's see what Yahweh Shai said here in Matthew 19 and I'll start at I'll start at Matthew 19 and 25 when his disciples heard it they were exceedingly amazed saying who they can be saved right because if you read prior up it's talking about that rich man that came to Yahweh Shai and said hey I did all these things for my youth up Yahweh Shai said okay well, obey the commandments and and uh you should have eternal life and he said oh, well i did all that i've done i do all that he's like well if you if that would be perfect then give everything that you have unto the poor and follow me and he turned away and sorrowful okay because he, he couldn't do that he couldn't he couldn't drop and stop everything that he had on his mind his heart his heart's desires and just give it up like that and follow the lord so that was a test of his faith and he fell so this is what there is going into. It says, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, who can be saved? But Yahweh shall beheld them and said unto them, when men, with men, this is possible. But with the Most High, all things were slacking. With men, this is impossible. But with the Most High, all things are possible. Okay? Because men can give you um, this... Uh, false sense of uh, salvation here on the earth give you you know tell you hey get you a degree you know you can pursue uh, a higher higher degree a higher learning and a career and you can get all these things you can have the best you can have a mansion you can have a hill a ha house in the hills you can have all these women you can have all these cars and everything that your heart desires that the flesh wants the eyes of the flesh okay but what this man was trying to obtain was impossible to get from man. You can't get it from your own. It's like the scriptures say, it's not by works, it's by grace. But you need faith in works, but it's not. It's, 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 it's predestination. And it's also by grace that you're going to be saved. You know, all these things are mingled together. It's not just one set thing. Okay? So with man... It's impossible. But with the Most High, it's possible. The Yahweh Shai has given us the blueprint. The, starting with, you know, um, from the beginning. Everything was written for our learning. So everything is, is, is there. Written. On what we should do. Okay? Here a little, there a little. You know? Pick up the, you know, take up the book and read. Educate yourself. Uh, uh, you know, retain this knowledge. Okay? The knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is able to save your soul. Okay? There's no salvation in any other name but one, and that's Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. And so let's go into that word here in uh, verse 26 possible. I'll play the word. Strong's G fourteen fifteen, dunatas, dunatas. Right. Outline of biblical usage. It says able, powerful, mighty, strong, mighty in wealth and influence, strong in soul, to bear calamities and trials with fortitude and patience. And that's what you want. You want to have a fortified mind uh, in order to be able, or it be possible that you are saved. Okay. Because we have to do our part as well. The Lord has given us the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Right? That wine, that water. The spiritual baptism. So that we have to do our part in order to, to hold on to that. To bear uh, calamities and trials with fortitude and patience. Strong in Christian virtue. To be able to do something. Mighty, excelling in something. Having power for something. 
Okay? Strong's definition, it says powerful or capable, literally or figuratively. Okay? That word capable is coming up. Okay? But it's to be powerful. And that the word in that Greek, it looks similar to the one able in uh, James 1 and 21. But, you know, when I look at the word able, it looks like it goes back. I mean, like I said, I might be wrong, but it looks like it, it's where they get the word dynamic. Um, but Khan, you know, it's this this word is able to save your soul. It's possible. It's, it's all about just having faith and doing the first works, having your works mingle with faith and vice versa. You know, and and holding on to that because all things are all things are possible through Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. You have to believe and have faith in that, have confidence in that. Okay, so. Just wanted to bring that out. Hope it was edifying. Till next time, shalom.